got married in the backyard to put new strings in my old guitar. The E was flat, the A it stayed sharp. I had no idea at all how happy it would make small and how drunk you and I'd get before dark. Hi everyone, how are you doing? It's actually 12 o'clock. Um, and I am just putting together some lunch for Sawyer and I. Cooper is with Dan um, playing baseball and practicing baseball because he just joined the Little League. And Sawyer is down here with my pots and pans, apparently. He's in that kind of phase, that 15-month-old. I'm in everything. Yeah? Where's your piece of bread? What happened? Cook. Yeah, you cook? No. You're gonna cook? <laughs> you cooking? He's so silly. Um, we got these like Texas hot dogs and they're so delicious. I need to cut this for him. I'm gonna put some peas on this plate. I'm like a super low key cook when it comes to <laughs> To put, putting lunch together, I usually just stick to the food groups. You know, I try to get protein, I try to get some dairy, I try to get a fruit, a veggie. Um, and I just do my best, you know? I didn't have time to like cook something, so this is gonna do. But yeah, these are like really delicious hot dogs. Um, I give my kids hot dogs, they're fine with the skin, they always are, but then I cut them into like finger shapes because that is the safest way. Here you go, that's what Sawyer's eating. <gasps> Sawyer, you cooking? You were helping mom? Okay, you're just eating two at a time? I guess that's fine. Is it good? I know it's so good. I know they're good hot dogs, right? Yummy yummies. Okay, mommy's gonna make her food. Alrighty, we ate. He's down for a nap. What time is it? 12.30. It's about his nap time. Just to kind of show you guys. Oh, there's two raspberries down here. So, um, he ate a little bit of the cheese, not much. He ate majority of the hot dogs, uh, majority of the fruit, and I think he ate some peas. He just kind of moshed them around a little bit. Um, but yeah, so that was his lunch. And then I gave him a little bit of formula too. He is 15 months old and he is naturally weaning off of the formula. I could give him milk, um, but what I noticed is that his little tushy cannot handle dairy. Even the A2 um, milk that I drink that my stomach can handle. He just, he really struggles with it, and quite frankly, I just don't think, I mean, like, being a baby-led weaning family, you kind of believe that, like, they don't need to switch over to cow's milk um, if they're getting all of their nutrition from table food. So I'm focusing more on the table food. We we'll give him milk every once in a while, but we try not to, like, overwhelm his system, which is why he's still kind of on formula right now, um, because... I want to make sure that he's still getting enough nutrients and still getting enough food, but he's definitely weaning off. Like he's he pretty much he drank maybe like an ounce and a half of it, and then he wanted to go to sleep. So um, he probably has like maybe we get, make him a six ounce bottle every time, and he'll drink like maybe three ounces of it. Um, sometimes he'll drink the full six ounces if it's like before bedtime. But we only offer a bottle basically before he sleeps. So during, before nap time and then before 
bedtime. But even so though, recently the bottle before nap time doesn't even really happen as you can tell. It was like he took a few sips and then that was it. Okay, this thing is super nifty and I'm really excited to try this. Okay, I have my scooper, I have my basket scooper directions. When we moved into this home, this was a brand new fridge and it, the water was coming out really slow out of the like dispenser and it practically wasn't making any ice. We're able to increase the water pressure. We looked at like the filter, all of like the basic things that you kind of look at, but it just for some reason does not seem like the ice can keep up with the amount that we use. I really love ice in all of my beverages. We drink iced coffee and we just seem to really go through ice a lot. I think we should look into getting like a little ice machine and it will fit perfectly. It won't be here on the counter. It will fit perfectly back in our pantry. I looked at a bunch of different ice machines pricing all over the place and I came across a company called Costway and they are sponsoring today's video and I'm working with them because I was really interested in trying their ice machine. Now they have a, a bunch of different products but their ice machines are rated really highly. The footprint is so tiny. It's so small but it makes a lot of ice. You know how ice usually takes like a really long time to make. This machine makes the ice in 6 to 13 minutes. Like a full thing of ice. And also like, let's be real, but different shaped ice, like there's a difference. Okay. <laughs> so, let me fill this up. What should I use to fill it up? <clears throat> Alrighty, so I just poured the water in here. Select the ice cube size. Let's do some small ice cubes. Alrighty. We've got ice. Isn't that cute? Yay, now we have ice. If you are interested in getting your own ice machine from Costway, I have it linked in the description box below. Their company is known for quality items for three to five day shipping turnaround and for 24 hour customer service. Hello guys, how are you doing? It's the next day. Oof. Um, did I tell you that the other day we went to the zoo? Um, yeah, we went to the zoo and it was really nice and we just kind of like hung out there and got to feed some giraffes, it was pretty cool. There's a big one over here. Yeah, that's the baby one. Yeah, oh, I see one over there too. Ooh. Maybe when we walk around, we can see it closer. There you go. Cooper can Sawyer, please. <laughs> yeah, hold it up, bud. <laughs> Sawyer, here. Sawyer, you want to feed? Yeah, feed him. Good job. You want to do the last one? There you go. Oh, he's got a wet tongue. Okay, Willa, hold it up. Willa, hold it up. You can do it, baby. It's, okay. it's just a giraffe. It's just his tongue. It's very gentle. Do you want me to do it for you? Okay. Maybe I could. Okay, Cooper can do it. Okay. Bye, giraffe. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Back there. The you wall. see it? It's a little chilly out today. I think they're all resting. All the animals are literally hiding from the wind. Yeah, it's windy. You don't see it? Yeah, well. Wait, that's camouflage. Yes. That is what camouflage is. All different animals have different types of camouflage, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, you walk. Mm. What? Super stinky. You're gonna you're gonna gag? And we're off. You say take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance?
so that's what we did the other day. I, right now, Dan's out right now working, um, and he's gonna be working for the next couple of hours. And we just got home. He had to like come home, get ready, head out. So he's doing that. And now I'm trying to like, situate our house. I swear, just chaos. Especially with this dude. Like look at him, just helping himself over here. Why we have a lantern on, don't know. You did it. <laughs> Sawyer did it. I don't know if like, I'm okay with it, or I'm very frustrated by it. That motherhood just feels like the most boring repetition of cleaning the exact same things over and over again. Hi. I feel like I on the table. just do the same thing over and over again every day. I know. Can be sweet. Just close your eyes.